Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Friday, December 17th, 2021. How you doing? I hope you had a good day today with me. If you missed any of the streams today, let me give you the lowdown of what happened. First of all, today, it's live. Your ability to vote on the games that I will be playing during the upcoming Christmas Marathon event right here on DSP Gaming. You can go to the community tab on the main channel page. Please vote. The forest is already a lock. And then we need two more games to be selected. So please get to it. The choices are very, very weird this year, <laughs> including Skyrim, Resident Evil 4, Shantae the Half-Genie Hero, Death by Daylight, and Portal 2. Yeah, I know. Want to talk about a random mishmash of games? But what I was telling everyone on the pre-stream today is that a couple of those previews, for example, Skyrim or Resident Evil 4, these are potential to be full playthroughs that I can do over the course of January. January is a dead month, except for Pokemon coming out in late January, which is was Legends Arceus or whatever. There's really nothing else going on in January besides me finishing up Grand Theft Auto 3. So, potentially, some of these games that I'm going to be playing during the Christmas event could end up being full playthroughs, which is pretty cool. Although, admittedly, a game like Skyrim, there's no fucking way I'll beat it in January. I'd have to delay it till after new releases end, because we all know how crazy busy February is going to be for new releases, right? So, anyway, that's good stuff. As for the gameplay today, GTA Vice City, the good news, lots of fun side content happened today. I unlocked the final two businesses, which is the Malibu Club and the Film Studio. I actually did the whole Film Studio, started the Malibu Club, did the entire Fire Engine mission, which was fun to watch. You should watch that. Um, tried to do the Ambulance mission, <laughs> much like when I tried to do the Taxi mission in San Andreas. It didn't exactly go as planned. You should definitely check that out. I don't want to spoil it. Um... And basically, we got to the point where there's still stuff to do. I still got to do the Malibu Club missions. I still have to do the Love Fist slash Biker missions. And then it's basically kind of like the finale of the game, okay? So I'm thinking, as long as there's not some monstrous delay or issue, I'm probably beating this game on Sunday when I play it next, okay? So what was the bad thing about Vice City today? Well, it played that song, what's it called, 99 Balloons. The one where it's some German girl singing, da, 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 ba, 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 whatever the fuck that is, gets not only content ID match, but the whole video gets blocked again on YouTube. This is the second video in the Vice City playthrough that's gotten blocked. So once again, I'm running the editing. I'm trying to get it to remove that song. It's about three and a half minutes that it played because I was actually flying the seaplane and dropping the flyers throughout Vice City. It's that mission of the game. So I was trying to do it, and, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm try Right now, it's trying to edit the video and cut out the song. You know, it's been three hours, still hasn't. The last time this happened to me, it took 15 hours to remove the song. So it might literally take 15 hours for you to watch Vice City Part 16, and I apologize for that. It could take longer, okay? I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. But anyway, it looks like that playthrough will finish on Sunday. Now, in regards to Street Fighter tonight... We had a big experiment. I tried my new Hori Fighting Stick Alpha for the Xbox Series X. This joystick was great. I was getting all of my three button moves. I was getting 360 throws. But I noticed something. I couldn't do Shoryukens facing left. And it wasn't just like Ken or Ryu. Couldn't do it with Ken. Couldn't do it with Ryu. When I was Fei Long, you do Shoryuken backwards, you know, facing right to do your move. Wouldn't come out. I was like, what is going on? So I go into training mode. And I mess around in training mode with this joystick. I am put the inputs on the screen. The inputs are correct. I'm doing the Shoryuken input, and the game doesn't give me Shoryuken. Now, there's two other people in my stream chat who own this game. They do it. They test it. It doesn't work for them either. The game is completely fucked up on the Xbox. It doesn't do Shoryukens facing left properly. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell? Never did I suspect... Someone would donate the Xbox version of the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection and you can't do Shoryuken's facing left because the game has a bug in it. Outside of that, there were some good matches, although admittedly what I found is that sadly, there's people who've played this game since launch and they actually found patterns you can do. Like there was a guy playing with Chun-Li. Don't get me wrong, he wasn't a bad player, but he literally is doing patterns that are lag abusive. He's just rushing down, jab, jab, throw, jab, jab, throw. And I'm like, now, if this weren't online, I could do reversal dragon punch. I could do reversal up kicks with DJ. I could blow right through this and stop it. Or I have a character who also has the same throw priority as Chun-Li. You could counter throw her. When she tries to throw you, you could throw her first. 
but not online. Online, this guy's getting away with it 100% of the time. I did a combo. I jumped in on his Chun-Li. I did jumping medium kick, and I did another medium kick with Bison. As the combo's coming out, the game canceled out my second kick and gave Chun-Li a throw. And I was like, so literally this guy found out that if you abuse the lag, if you do certain patterns, the game's netcode is so bad, it will just give him this mashed input benefit of the doubt, and he'll win 100% of the time. I basically stopped playing. I, I don't want to play this guy anymore. And a major problem with the Xbox version of this game, there's not enough people playing. There was only one lobby available to play tonight. So it was either play this guy all night or fucking play nothing. So what ended up happening was the first half of the night I played in that lobby. The second half I started doing random ranked matches and stuff. And it was very hit or miss. It wasn't great. So... The next time I play Street Fighter, it will be back on the PlayStation 4 slash 5. All right, we're going to go back to the original version that I used to play. <clears throat> but an important update here, guys. It's not going to be on Friday night because Friday night is Christmas Eve. And Christmas Eve I'm spending with my wife. It's not going to be on Saturday because that's Christmas Day. I'm not streaming. The next Street Fighter stream will be Sunday night, which would be the 26th of December. That night, I return from my Christmas break. And I'll be doing Street Fighter late that night, and it'll be uh, on the PlayStation, okay? One final update. As you can see, being that this is Christmas week, I decided to add some festive new stuff to the streams. So this week, if we hit a $100 goal on any stream, I can wear this hat or the Santa hat, or I'll, and I'll grab two other random hats to put them into the mix. So this new hat, the Let's Get Lit hat, is now available if we hit our tips goal of $100. In addition to that, I have my Christmas sweaters here. And I said, hey, I have these sweaters. Why only wear them on Christmas Day? It's the whole Christmas week this week, right? So if we hit a tips goal of $150 on any respective stream, I'll put on a silly Christmas sweater of your choice. I have three of them here. And then I'll probably just put a random vest into the mix or something. But as you can see, all three random Christmas sweaters available to be worn on the streams if we hit a $150 tips goal, okay? So festive stuff for the next week into Christmas I'm excited for that. So tomorrow, it is the campaign of Halo Infinite. And I, if I believed everything that people told me, I'm beating it tomorrow. I don't believe what people are telling me. I think there's at least two more streams left in this game. Because we got to finish the Spire. And then we've got to go to a whole final area of the game that I haven't even started exploring yet. I can't imagine doing the Spire, going over there, doing all of that, and the finale of the game in three hours. That just doesn't sound right to me. I think there's going to be two more streams of Halo. Okay? Uh, tomorrow night... It's going to be the King of Fighters 15 beta round two. They're bringing back the beta with a new slew of characters for you to try. So I'm going to play that tomorrow night. Now, I hope you guys will support these streams because last time I did the King of Fighters beta, everyone wanted me to do it, and it was insanely low supported. I was like, oh, shit, that's not good. That's not a good indication that people are interested in this game. Now, after it ended, people actually came on streams later on that week and said, oh, we're sorry that we, you know, we weren't there to support that stream. Here you go. So then they did support it after the fact. I hope if you can be there tomorrow night for the, the King of Fighters stream that you will support it, okay? I'm very interested in playing this game in February when it comes out as a full release, so please support the beta stream. All right. Guys, that is it. Thank you for watching the Daily Wrap. I'll see you in the morning for Halo. Peace out. Have a good night.